Hiya, and welcome to Tykes TV. Neil, and I've got Joe on from uh, Borough Fan TV as well. Uh, thanks for joining me, Joe. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, no worries, man. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about a game coming up, obviously, tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> going to be a good one, I hope. Uh, but uh, first things first, uh, talk about a bit about Middlesbrough. Uh, obviously, we're down at Doldrums kind of thing early on in the season. What, what, you know, Chris Wilder's come in and done a great job for you. What's... Uh, has it panned out for you? For you, with Wild, have you been? Uh, you know, has it ticking all the box for you at minute, Joe? It definitely has. I mean, looking at overall the future of the club, obviously, yeah, because uh, um, we were looking at the long term. Obviously, with Kieran Scott coming in as um, uh, head of football, and figured, you know, um, back in November, I think Neil Warnock was not going to be in for the long running. I think, and uh, we needed something to change immediately, and we did that. No less than 24 hours after Neil Warnock left and we brought in Chris mm -hmm. Wilder and he's completely changed the team around completely. Like He's built a connection uh, between the club and the fans back again, uh, which we were lacking under the previous management. So, And um, all has been going well for him at the minute. Obviously, we just had the uh, three slip-ups. Uh, so, But apart from that, it's been looking positive for us. I mean, uh, coming off a good win uh, last time out against West Brom, obviously, yeah. yeah keeping in touch with the playoff places at the moment. So, all's good at the minute, even though we've still got a couple of games in hand, you know, on the others. Yeah, that, that, and that, I think that could be a crucial thing as well. Uh, just looking at the table, you've, you've played 32 and you've got like Huddersfield and others who have played 33. So, like I say, you just more or less just start on a, by a point from top six. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was weird that because when Neil Warnock left, you said more or less 24 hours later, Chris Wilder's coming. And it's mm. coming in a great run. I mean, confidence and that in players must be unbelievable. And you must be seeing that on pitch as well with self belief in players. Is, is there any players what were under previous management were mm, not having quite good game, but all of a sudden Wilder's coming, he's got best out of them. Can you, can you see that as a fan? Mm. Um, well, at the start of the season, um, one of our players, Isaiah Jones, was probably uh, one of our. Um, players look, looked like he was going to be heading out on the, the loan spell again. Funny enough, he was on loan in the uh, Scottish Championship last season with Queen of the South. So, mm. and ever since uh, our first game of the season, which was away at Fulham, he came in and he's been absolutely amazing for us since. Considering, you know, a couple of years ago, we bought him from uh, non league Tooting and Mitchin, believe it or not. So, and, it's, and it's he's doing amazing it? since then. Um, Quite a lot of players have come in. Obviously, um, Andras Barras is currently our top scorer this season with um, eight goals so far this season. And um, he's we, uh, probably considering him a danger man as well. And uh, considering um, who we bought in in January as well, um, Riley McGree is one of the players that we recently bought who's slotted into the role which uh, mm. Matt Crooks obviously there because uh, Matt Crooks is one of our star players, but he'll be suspended for this game because he's currently on a two-game ban, which he picked oh, up for picking right. up uh, 10 yellow cards. So, Matt Crooks won't be involved, but Riley McGree certainly will. And um, yeah, there's a lot of players. Marcus Tavernier is another one, um, and we quite quite a lot. So I mean, we've got two strikers in on loan in January, like Aaron Connolly from Brighton and Flo Balligan from Arsenal. Um, so yeah, there's we've got definitely got a strong squad. I consider. Just on about we, we obviously January transfer window, we brought two players in, uh, Bassi and Dom, uh, you know, uh, Dominguez Queener. Um, mm. Although they're on loan, they have made a, a difference to us, and we start to see that bit better attacking third at play up front. Which it just makes you wonder if we'd have been able to get them in earlier on. Then why didn't you know why couldn't it work out? But again, it might be our benefit. We might be just coming into it good. Um, obviously, if you're just on about January transfer window, do you think? Were you happy with transfer window? Or do you think mm, maybe I could have done a bit more? You know, could have done me defender or what? Generally, mm. as a fan, were you happy with transfer window? How it happened? Uh, I would probably consider you know happy with the squad. You know, but there there was a couple of positions where we were a bit light on, more notably in the centre back role, and mm. uh, could have done with another forward as well or another midfielder. But overall, I was happy with. Um, the window that we got, even though we were trying to bring in a couple of players in on love from Newcastle, where uh, on deadline day, which never fail, which failed to materialize. I think it was Jeff Hendrick and uh, Kieran Clark, I think it was, hmm. so, but uh, they never quite materialized. But yeah, I was kind of happy with the window that we had, and uh, the squad have gelled together since then. 
Yeah, I think that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yelling, yelling together, and that's why I'm hoping tomorrow. I mean, we come up to your place and we lost 2 0. Uh, you're mm. coming to work well tomorrow. I'm hoping that, on my point of view, because we've had, I said, we've had a, a good win, but it was, you know, against Old City 2 0. Yeah. Um, I'm hoping that it seems to kind of stick with that side now and not because. It's been hard for us because we've been like trying to look for a win and it's mm. trying different players and different positions and different styles. And now he's come across it. We uh, obviously we won against QPR uh, in the middle of that. We had a bit of a poor result uh, uh, against Coventry, but then we got uh, another win against Tull. So I'm hoping he more or less sticks with the same formation because I think what you've like said via. Once players tend to know what we were playing and the players all were playing with, it, it tends to gel and get a bit better uh, formation out of them. Who would be, is the middle, is, is obviously a middle of fan, you know, players and that, who would be more, the more standout player? Who should bounds be wary of tomorrow? Who, who would be, or it might be players, it might be a few of them. Yeah, as I said, um, Isaiah Jones, Andras Farrar is two to mention, obviously, yeah. Mm. Uh, Got a higher ratio of assists, and um, Spiral's currently our top scorer this season with eight goals. And he's another player we got on loan as well. He's on loan from Sporting Lisbon, so I could definitely say them to watch out for. And as, as well as Wiley McGree as well, and um, Paddy McNair has been impressive for us this season as well, as well as Dale Fry in the heart of that defence. And um, yeah, I would definitely say those players to definitely watch out for. And going back to what you said on the. Uh, Recent game you picked up against Hull, I mean, you're doing it as well, I think, because if you've got a couple of key players out injured, um, yeah. I presume so, like Woodrow is one of them. Hmm. Um, but I, if I if I had to look at the squad you got now, see if there's a, a threat from, you know, from your side, I'm definitely going to have to say Callum Styles is probably your best player, probably without a doubt. Yeah, it... it... And it's a good point that because he's been played about in three different positions. He's, he's played right on left, which he wore left wing back last vast majority of last season. We've tried him in midfield, which is his preferred position. But I think he's found now his position where he's just playing behind uh, forward. He's like in out on wing, but not, you know, he's like a floater kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Trying to have that link up play. And mm. he scored his, you know, scored a goal. He took that well against Hull and uh, Morris just before half time. And I think with the Queen and Bass coming in, it's yeah. give players a bit of a, a wake up call, like a fresh impetus. And it's great to see because the frustrating thing about it is that we know what kind of player Styles is, and he mm. might have a good game, but we might have four or five go missing, then he have a good game. So it's just mm. getting back to consistency. But uh, like you said, we've got wood draws out, he's not going to be out well, I think, April time after his injury. Mm. Uh, another player who's been out has been Britain. Uh, Callum Britton again another player who likes to attack but again it's confidence it's all about confidence for me for my side um, I'd say Callum Morris is starting to you know yeah. since he's come back from injury Callum Morris is a threat Callum Styles, like you said Bassey is, is uh, passing ball about well Dominus mm -hmm. Queener on loan from Watford and I was surprised with it. I think he only played about four games at Fulham on loan mm -hmm. And it's just goes to show you can't get it full inside, but in in Barnsley side, he's, he's started every game since he's you know since he's come on loan. So yeah. I think for me, them a bit. I mean, then you could go back to like uh, Brad Collins and goal and that. But for my, I've said danger players. I'd be looking at them, and it's obviously going to be attacking third. All being well, all being well. Um, mm. Formation side, you've, you you can't see Chris Wilder changing much. He'll just stick to his same way. Yeah, definitely. He likes to play like wing backs and overlapping centre backs, and uh, you, I think it's like the three holding midfielders and then the two up top. So mm. um, that that's the kind of normally plays. I think um, you usually have a good first choice scorekeeper in there, Joe Lumley, but he does uh, make his errors from time to time. So mm. that's uh, the only bit of gripe that the Borough fans have with the uh, recently is just with the goalkeeper situation, but. I honestly think Joe Lumley's done well for us this season. I don't mm. think there's there's been a couple of games that. You know, um, where he could have saved us from absolutely nothing, basically, and a couple of bad results even there. But I like to say he does have his mistakes, but he's been trustworthy for us this season. Yeah, good point about what you're on about, uh, Lumley. It's like a bit with Brad Collins. I know he had a couple of fluffs, you know, in, in previous games, and there were, you know, there were questions going about, oh, sh probably we're going to reconsider and, you know, rest him. And, or, mm. It's a nice way of saying drop him. 
Uh, but I look at it in long term. I think, well, look at what he's done throughout the season. He's been, he's saved his more points than what he's lost us. So I think we a goalkeeper. Spotlights on him kind of thing because we're always like more or less last line of defence, aren't we? So for making error, it's like, oh, you've crossed it, but you don't see what we've done throughout the game and after. So yeah, it's a fair point about what you said about uh, Lumley with goalkeeper situation. Um, I think Barnsley, I'm hoping he'll stick to the same formation like now what he has done against Dull. It's his first away win at season. I think it's his first away win since um, April, I believe. Mm. Uh, so that's a fair while ago. So now I'm hoping that he, if if it's not Brock, don't try thinking about it. You know, just try and build on it and try and keep it there. Even if some players have, have come back from uh, injury, such as like Britain, I'd just have him on bench. I won't really put him straight mm. in and upset it. Uh, score prediction. I know you're going to be fetching a fair few down. I think it's I think it's about four thousand and some of the fetching down, isn't it? Round about round about four and a half thousand. I think we're bringing down. So yeah, so it's going to be it's, and it's going to be a great atmosphere because I like it when it's like that. It's a good atmosphere. It's like proper buzzing, you know. So yeah. Um, for me, I'm going to say Barnes are winning. Obviously, I'm going to say Barnes. I'm hoping we can build on his, you know, on his uh, old game. Um, I think there's going to be goals in it. I'm going to say. I don't know if it's my head or my heart what's going to be saying this, but uh, I'm going to go to one Barnsley. Uh, so, Joe, over to you, mate, your score prediction. Yeah, like I say, uh, four and a half thousand going down to Oakwell mm. tomorrow. And, um, you know, I think we got a good, uh, a big one to schedule after this. I think, you know, after this, we got Spurs in the FA Cup at home and then two tough games after that against Luton Town at home and then Sheffield United away, mm. which is one of our games in hand, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. So, That's going to be a tasty then, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'll probably, I'll probably consider this, you know, the um, the warm up fixture going into those uh, next couple of games. So I'm going to mm. go with a 2 0 Borough win. But like you say, there'll definitely be goals in this, but I'm going to say 2 0 to Borough. That's all, it's all about opinions and it's all about backing this team. That's yeah. what we all ask. Uh, so anybody that's watching, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, I just want to say thanks, Joe, for Borough Fan TV. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. It's, it's always great to get opposition fans on and give their own opinion and uh, how their season's going because it's all about football. It's all about banter. It's what we love. That's what we do it for, isn't it? So, uh, yeah. yeah, thanks thanks for joining me, Joe. I appreciate it, mate. No problem, mate. Always a pleasure. Uh, and, and it, like I say, and leave your score prediction in the comments below. You may agree, disagree. Uh, just keep it respectful. Uh, it's all about opinions. So, one thing left to say, you Reds.